Hi, I'm Nick Haraz of Creative 111, and I want to take you through the new content aware fill panel for VR footage inside of Adobe After Effects. So I'm here inside of After Effects where I have a VR clip. We can tell by its shape. This footage was kindly given to me from Bhatik Joshi of Adobe. He was down in Sydney and shot this lovely 360 footage on a beach. In order to start to work with it, I'm gonna head up to the window menu. From the window menu, I'm gonna head all the way to the bottom and go to my VR comp editor. Here, I'm gonna add a 2D edit, selecting my current composition, which is CAF2, and add a 2D edit, which matches the width of my comp. This immediately creates an additional two compositions, which allow me to work in VR. Right now, I'm working in my edit comp where I have a After Effects camera. In order to move it, I'm going to press the C key and then move to what I would like to remove inside the shot, which happens to be this gentleman with his VR camera. If I press the space bar, we can preview that back. I want to stop playback and now use some masks in order to remove this guy. I'll select the clip in the timeline and using the pen tool, draw a shape around my subject. Once I do, I'm going to press M with the layer selected and change the mask mode temporarily to none. In order to help After Effects guide the removal of this subject, what I'm going to do is now bring up my content aware fill panel. By heading to the window menu, I can choose content aware fill as the option. And I want to send this one frame that I'm on over to Photoshop by creating a reference frame. Inside of Photoshop, I'm going to select my quick selection tool and just draw a quick selection around my subject. In order to make sure that I have it just right, I'll go to the select menu, choose modify, expand, and expand my edges by about five pixels. There are a number of different options I can use for performing content aware fill. And on this instance, I'm going to go to the edit content aware fill menu. What you can see here is what is currently selected, and the color includes also what is excluded in terms of how it's going to fill on the subject. I can, of course, use my paintbrush in order to subtract more materials for this option, such as if I hold down the option key, these rocks over here. And once I'm satisfied here with the content aware fill panel, and once I'm satisfied here with the content aware panel, I'm going to choose the OK button, which will then remove the subject. If I press Command D to clearly see how it's done the removal, it's done an OK job. Underneath this toolbar here where I have my spot healing brush, I'm going to select the patch tool and just quickly select this section and perform a little bit of fixing around the edges of this. Selecting patch a few times should do the trick. So we can see here that it's done a pretty good job removing that. I'm going to just take this a step further with the spot healing brush and use my right and left brackets in order to make it the size that I need to. It's a soft edged brush, and this is doing the trick in fixing this up just a little bit more. I can spend some more time on this, but this is looking pretty good for this example. So I'll quit outside of Photoshop and choose to save this. Now that I'm back from Photoshop, you can see that I have a reference frame inside my composition. I'm going to head back up under my layer and reveal my mask properties again and change the mask mode from none to subtract. And you can see there the reference frame that's inside the composition. Now, in order to create our fill, we'll head over to the content aware fill panel. I'm just going to move to another frame you can see here that with the mask mode set to subtract, it now sees an alpha channel. We could, of course, expand that alpha channel with an expansion. But we're going to leave the default as is and make sure the fill method is set to object. This is great for moving layers. I'm going to click on the generate fill layer button and let After Effects do the rest. It's going to go through an analysis first. It's now going to create a fill layer to fill in the missing space. Once Content Aware Fill has finished rendering and analyzing, we should see in our composition this new fill layer on top. In order to see the results, I'm just going to press the space bar. In this particular instance, it's done a fantastic job of removing the subject as well as cloning the water from this particular perspective. And that's how easy it is to work with VR footage inside of After Effects with Content Aware Fill. For more tips and tricks like this, click on the link below.